All right, here I have a quick animation where the actual animation here on the one um, circle, right there, the first one, will just be a no slow transition from my opacity from 0% to, or sorry, 100% to 0%. And on my second circle, it's gonna be a hold uh, uh, animation. So it's gonna go right from here, it's gonna stay there for a while, and then it's gonna quickly change to nothing. So I could obviously bring that over. So let me show you when I play through. So we saw that. So this one will animate slowly and go to 0%. This one will animate, it'll stay 100, 100, 100, and then right at this point, it goes to zero. So how do we do that? Really easily. So we're gonna change the keyframe. Let me do that one more time. So I'm gonna make that circle. All right, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna shut these ones off. And I have this and I just wanna do a simple uh, animation here. I'm gonna twirl that down and just click T press on T just so I can get the opacity and right here at the zero degree or zero timeline I'm gonna press the opacity and it's hundred percent and right over here I'm gonna make it so it's zero percent all right so that's my normal animation which is great but what I don't want it to do I don't want it to have this kind of fade out I just want it strictly to go to uh, right to its next one without any tweens in between as we call them so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight them I'm gonna right click and I'm going to go to keyframe interpolation. You could also go to animation and go to keyframe interpolation. And you could find this temporal interpolation. And what we're saying to the keyframes, don't be a linear animation. Don't, just do a hold animation. Don't do anything. Just do one thing here, 100%. And then the next animation will remember that information. That's all I want you to do. So that's all it's doing. It's holding that information and holding that information. Great. So now what we can do is we can kind of put them together a little bit closer. Sorry, select one at a time. And I can kind of have them flicker if I want. Okay. So if I want, I could actually select both keyframes, remembering the information that they have in them. And I'm just going to bring it here and paste. Oh, I didn't select them. copy. I'm going to paste and I'm going to move it a little forward and paste and a little more forward and paste and a little more forward and paste. So it's just a bunch of hold animations and a little bit of hold keyframes that I'm just pasting and let's see what that does. That's it. So a hold animation keyframe sorry keyframe animation will let you uh, do that type of animation for you so once again keyframe interpolation i just right click and that's it now if i want to change that i can of course let me duplicate this command d shut these off go back here click on that look at my keyframes and the transform opacity select them all right click and now i'm just going to make it go back to normal which would be linear okay and that's what a linear one would look like very similar but there is a little bit of animation in between a little bit of uh, adobe after effects like figuring out what's happening in between those so hope that helps